Hello lovelies and welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Katia and today we're going to be checking out a little double feature today with Hwasa's Chili and Huyen's In The Mood. Now, I have technically, I have seen these songs. Let me just explain what happened. So, like, originally around the time when these songs came out forever ago, I had watched them, did a little reaction to them, um, along with Jesse's Gum, and I don't know what happened, we, it was a glitch with my equipment and my stuff, so the only thing that recorded was the, my reaction, like, my, my camera only recorded me, it did not get my screen record of the actual video and everything, so... I was kind of left with not knowing what to do for a long time and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to go about fixing that. I don't know why my streaming thing did not work um, as far as like screen recording. I don't know why. I remember hitting the button but I guess for whatever reason it had a glitchy moment and just it just didn't record. And I was so upset. I was so angry because I was like I I spent all that time like um almost like 40 something minutes or more you know talking and going over those songs and everything. And I was like, dang, I don't know what to do now because it only recorded, only my camera was recording me and that was it. So I didn't know what to do with that. The problem also was is I couldn't just like screen record like the videos again and just put them over the video because like I was pausing, I was going back, you know, a couple times during the video. So I wasn't going to be able to match that up on my own. I'm not that technically savvy to try to figure that out. And like there was just no way. Like, well, in my and also with my audio with my camera is sucks. It sucks real bad. Like I don't use the audio from my camera. I use the audio like from my screen recording that so you guys can hear me better. Like the audio from my camera is so bad. It just is the worst. So I was like, it's not even possible to use the audio even from this. And I didn't know how I was gonna go about it. I mem I remember making an announcement about it like when the situation happened, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And it is taking me like. I don't know, a, a couple months at this point since uh, it came out. Like, I think it's been like two months um, to figure out what I was going to do. And I just kind of had been putting it off too because I really just didn't know how I was going to go about it. So my solution was, though, in the meantime, and just in case, like if it came back down to this, um, I wasn't going to watch or listen to the songs until I figured out like what I was going to do. So that way, at this point, like it's been a couple months, so... I haven't heard the songs again. I haven't watched the music videos again. It was a one-time deal and that was it. I was not going to go back and do it just in case. So that way, if I did want to do it like what I am doing now, I'm going to re-watch the music videos and I can kind of go in with um, kind of like a fresh mind, like kind of like a restart, like in a way. Like I know like I'm going to be going in and I do remember like what the kind of concepts are for these videos and stuff like that, but I'm going to be going in kind of with fresh opinions and so on. So that's what we're going to go with. I do apologize for that as well, that this is not going to be my initial reaction to the videos, but there's nothing I can do. It was just, man, glitchy, glitchy things. You know, my stuff glitches all the time, whether it's my camera bugging out, you know, after recording for a long time starts bugging out, whether it's my streaming thing starts glitching, you know, it's always something. There's always something with my equipment. My equipment's not great. My stuff I use isn't great. It's... Just what I gotta deal with. So, let's just go ahead. We're gonna move on. We're gonna get straight into these two MVs. Because, you know, I'm excited to discuss my thoughts once more and to listen to these great songs once again. So, let's just go ahead and we're gonna jump right in. Now, for Hwasa's Chili, I do remember it is part of the Street Woman Fighter um, collaboration. Kind of like what Jessie's did with Cold Blooded. I think that's pretty much what the same thing is. It's just Hwasa and her song and her version doing it. And I remember it's being all the groups. I do not know all the groups' names, so don't come at me for that. I didn't watch the show. I did see, like, a few clips here and there, like, on TikTok, but that was about it. Um, like, with Bada, like, she was, like, one of the main people I saw. And Kristen, I think her name was, um, the choreographer everyone was, like, obsessed with. Like, that was, like, it. That was, like, the only, like, real things I really saw. And I think those were, like, early on episodes, too. Like, that was pretty much it. And, like, Bada's, like, uh, what's it called? Like, and then Bada's, like, um, little dance that she did. Her dance that she did for the show, which became, like, a big old trend on TikTok. Like, everyone was doing it. Like, that was pretty much, like, the only thing. I didn't really honestly see anything else. I don't know how the rest of the show went. I don't even know who won. I don't know who won. I don't know anything. 
So let's just go ahead. We're going to enjoy this video. You guys could tell me the details of the show if you want. If you know them, go ahead. Let me know because I honestly was curious about watching the show, but I honestly didn't know where to watch it. So let's just go ahead and enjoy this music video once again. Giving it all on up to you. Straight on one fighter. Well, I honestly kind of forgot the beat of the song. This part I kind of remember though. The choreo though. Ooh, ooh, like, like that? I don't know what she's trying to symbolize, but I love it. Regardless. See, like, Kristen and her group, I remember. Kind of from, like, from TikToks and stuff like that. I don't remember what their name of their crew is called, though. Well, that's such a perfect collaboration to do for this kind of song. Her voice is so good. I like that like little scream in the back. Like that, that transition, amazing. I loved it. I love how she starts com- Oh, damn this keyboard. I love how she just starts coming in. Seamless, beautiful. I also love this hair color on her. Oh, look at her, she looks so good. Nah, her dancing with them, so good. We keep it spicy. Ah. Nice, nice, clean. The song is very short, kind of like how um, Jesse's was for Cold Blooded. Like it is, a, it's a quick video. It's just a quick collaboration, kind of to show off the dancers. I'm assuming it's kind of like the concept, you know. And it's so cool. It's honestly such a cool thing to do, like for all the dancers to do a collaboration together and everything. Like it's so cool to see because everyone obviously brings their own like little flair in as well. Like I really enjoyed like. The groups that were in Cold Blooded, I, I enjoyed the groups watching these in for Chili, and I love that Je uh, Jesse, <laughs> and I love that Hwasa joins in on the choreo with them. Like that's so cool, and the song is so good. It's so catchy. Obviously, there were no captions, so I don't know exactly like what the lyrics are saying, but I think I could probably catch the drift. You know, the kind of concept that they are going with. Obviously, it's Chili. You know, they say spicy. Um, you know, they're bringing in this, like, little flair with the moves and everything. Like, they're bringing, like, sexy to this song, and I love it. Obviously, we don't know what the lyrics are, because obviously there's no captions. But I do think there's, like, probably just a lot of repetition kind of in this song. You know, it's just a lot of, like, lyrics, I think, to show off kind of, like, the women and everything. And just, you know, a nice hype song to, like, get into the mood of this dance, which is really cool. Um... There could be like a little bit, maybe a little bit more. You guys will have to tell me if there's anything like crazy up in there. Especially like with some of the choreo moves that they do. Like they're a little spicy, but I don't know if like that's the intention. Like it could just be to like, you know, show some flair into the song with the choreo. I mean, I'm just taking it as one way when I see certain moves, but I mean, they could be just interpreted different. Um, but you guys will have to let me know what y'all think about like the choreo and everything because there's definitely some spicy moves going on in there. Um, and everything and I'm, I thought the choreo was very clever with like the chili thing. It was very cool I liked it a lot um, I liked how they're also all the crews are in like different um, Outfits like in their own like like, you know little uniforms obviously for their groups Whatever you want to call them because you know then they, they kind of get a little flair from each of them and then I love Hwasa just coming in 
um, in her own thing, just doing it, just incorporating herself into the song. And I was curious if she was going to come in because I know in Cold Blooded that Jesse just kind of comes out and she just, you know, she's just vibing with them, but they don't like dance anymore uh, for Jesse. But I love that Hwasa, you know, does her stiff and she does a dance with them she incorporates herself into it so it was really cool but yeah i kind of like forgot what the, um, the overall like vibes of the song were besides like that main like i guess chorus part of the song um but i do really i really overall enjoyed it i love like the visuals obviously they looked great the women are doing great um the song is just a quick fun song i really liked it it's just fun to enjoy and listen to i think it's got a nice vibe to it but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to huyen's song in the mood all right, so we got no captions on for this video either, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna enjoy. I kind of can't remember honestly what the song sounded like. I'm sure it'll once it starts, I'll be like, oh yeah. But honestly, off the top of my head, I can't. <clears throat> she looks so beautiful. I'm starting to remember what the vibes of the song were. She's so beautiful. I love her voice. I remember I love this thing, this little setup here. The lights were so cool. She gives me such early 2000s vibes here. <clears throat> mm. I love her ad lips in the back. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Girl. Ooh, I remember that. Butterfly crossing. Oh, I remember I really like this ending here with like the credit scene on like. This little drive-in sort of thing was so cool. The song felt so quick. How long is it? Three? What? It felt like it went by so quick. It's almost a four-minute song. Oh, I remember. I liked this like ending credits with like the instrumentals in the back, like the guitar. It was so good. I remember being so curious what the symbolism of the butterfly was. You guys will have to let me know if there is a symbolism, like a meaning behind it. Oh, <laughs> that shocked me the first time. That bullet, that little shot, like really got me that first time when I watched it. Oh my gosh, I remember being so freaked out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. Ugh. But, oh, the song is so good. I really do love it. Um, I love her vocals. I love Huyen's vocals. She just has this... It's amazing her voice because she goes from like, like how this kind of the song was overall very, I think, soft tone. 
um to something that she can go very passionate and very hard in but this song and this vibe was so good um i remember though um initially when i was watching the video that i caught like um and it could be going along with like obviously the song in the mood you know she's like starting out at this party right um in the beginning she's kind of just sitting there like kind of just like looking around and everything and she goes like to her room she gets like her headphones on puts her own song on and then she goes back out and she's having like a great old time and I found it very interesting because I was like, I don't know, obviously, if, like, the there was, like, maybe an advertisement for, like, these headphones or if it was truly just part of, like, incorporated with the story that I was being told, you know, she's in her own headspace, she's in the mood when she's, like, in her own comfort, you know, listening to her own music, you know, because then she can really vibe along, like, like, she was, like, after she had her headphones on, she was vibing along to the music and to the, the people and having a good time. And I think that maybe, maybe that has to go along with like, maybe what the song is talking about. Maybe it's being in her own comfortable space, being in, her, in, in the mood, like, um, and it could be in the mood for a few like different things, depending on like, what is your mood? And it could be, you know, incorporating obviously to what like the song is about, like in the mood, like depending on like what mood you're in, what feelings you're feeling at that time, like how you're going about it. Like, you know, you see her at one point she's um going on kind of like what looks like to be like a road trip in a way like you know she's just vibing along in the car with her friends having a good old time having a fun time they're going to a drive-in you know it's just like just in the mood for different things you know she's you know changing it up changing doing different things but doing things that make her happy maybe is what the concept is um for this song it was so good. She, I think she portrays just, like, the vocals really well in this song. Like, she makes it so airy and light, and I think that was, like, the overall visual of this song was very airy, light. It was, everything was very bright. It was beautiful. Like, they had really stunning visuals, and she looked amazing. She looked beautiful. Like, her outfits were on point. She had, like, this cute choreo going on, um, which I wasn't really expecting. I, didn't, I Initially, I wasn't really expecting, like, there to be like a little bit of choreo going down but I'm kind of glad there was it kind of brings a little dynamic for her even though I know she is actually very capable of capable of dancing I remember that from the guide um that she's very capable to do dance I mean they all are but um I remember that kind of being one of like the points for Hui and Lizette her dancing capability I don't remember though if this song was a soul a solo like a single or if it was um gonna be part of an album um, you guys will have to let me know, or maybe like an EP. I don't know if she either actually has like albums, like solo albums, or other EPs or stuff like that. I know she has other, I think, solo songs, but I don't know if she has a solo album or EP. But we should definitely check those out for all of them. Oh, really? We should definitely check out all of their solo stuff. I think that'd be really interesting to see because obviously they all have such um, different styles and everything. Like, obviously, you could see like between like Quasas Chili and then this um Wien's in in the mood like obviously for Chili that's like a col collaboration with Street One Fighter so there probably was a concept to go down but I feel like this is also Chili was also very on par with like Quasas like style and like the flair I think that she normally um portrays now that she doesn't can't do like light concepts like in the mood but I think like um concepts like Chili are just very much in touch with like her vibes like her vibes that she just like gives off like this persona that she has um which i think is really cool i really do enjoy her concepts because she can just really can pull off a lot of things and i was really impressed with this being like my first like solo work from Puyin um to check out because this was just very um light this was very just bright it was such a bright concept it was so fun and it was honestly very artsy so it's very on par i feel like with her personality not that she can't go like you know sexy or something like that but I think this was just you know such a like a good like starting point for me like going into her stuff because it just feels very much like her um her style and I think it was very good I really enjoyed it I love the instrumentals I love the production of the song I thought it was really really good it felt like it went by really quickly by the time I finished the song even though it's like over three minutes long it literally felt so short but maybe it's because I've, I've heard it before I don't know I love the instrumentals in the song. I think it would be really cool to hear this song live, especially with like a live band. I feel like that'd be really cool to see. I wonder if she has done any live performances. If she does, if she did, I'll have to check them out. I'm really curious. I'll have to check, I'll have to see. I'll have to look into it to see if she's done any live performances for In The Mood. That'd be really cool to see. Especially if like with a live band, she's gonna get me with that. It'll knock me out. 
But that is it for today, lovelies. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Continue to leave your recommendations down in the comment section. And if you want to see me check out more Mamamoo, Hwasa, or Huiyan content, or K-pop content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But other than that, lovelies, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!